Hello students, today we will continue exercise 15.1. Question number 14. A one card is drawn from well shuffled deck of 52 cards. Find the probability of getting a king of red color. First we have to find the total numbers of cards. Here the total number of cards are 52. We have to find the king of red color card means there are two red suits of red card diamond and heart so the favorable outcome become two so we can we can write probability two by 52 so answer is one by 26 question number two we have to find the probability of face card how many face cards are there there are 12 face cards we have to find the probability of face card the, then favorable outcome is 12 so the probability become 12 by 52 so i can write 3 by 30 in same way i have to find the probability of red face card now i have to find the probability of red face card here the face we have to find the probability of red face card then the favorable outcome is 2 into 3 total 6 cards so the probability of red face card is 6 by 52 we have can cancel out 6 and 52 we get result 3 by 26 in same way in next question we have to find the probability of a jack of heart jack of heart is only a one so the favorable outcome becomes one and the probability of jack card is one by 52 in same way we have to find the probability of spade card the total number of spade card are 13 the total number of card is 52 then we have to divide it by 13 by 52 we get answer 1 by 4 in same way we have to find the probability of uh, only queen of diamond card we have to find the probability of queen of diamond card then the favorable outcome is 1 then the probability of queen diamond card is 1 by 52 next question 5 cards then 10 jack q k and s of diamond are well shuffled here we have only five cards so we have to find the probability that card is a queen card here is a total number of cards five there is only one queen card so the favorable outcome becomes one so the probability of queen card become one by five in same way we have to find the probability of if a queen card is drawn and put aside and what is the probability of second card of s or a queen means in this situation we have a favorable number of total outcomes become four because one card is kept aside there first there are, we have a five cards then we put one card aside then we have only four cards then we have to find the probability of a s card means that favorable outcome is one and the probability is one by four then there is a no card as a queen we have to find the probability of a queen no card as a queen then favorable outcome is zero then zero by four probability is zero next question 12 defective pen are accidentally mixed with 131 good ones. It is not possible to just look a pen and tell whether it is defective or not. We have to take a random pen from it and determine the probability that pen taken is good one. First, we have the total number of pens 132 one are correct one and 12 are defective. Then total number of pens are 144 we have to find the probability of good pens good pens are 132 then the probability of good pen is 132 by 144 we have to divide it by 12 we get result 11 by 12 
Next question. A lot of 20 bulb contains 4 defective ones. Means there are 20 bulbs in a lot and 4 are defective ones. We have to mix. They are mixed together and we have to find the probability in a such way. Suppose bulb is drawn. Total number of favorable outcomes are 20. Then the favorable outcome is 4. Because defective are 4 numbers of bulb. So getting probability of getting a defective bulb is 4 by 20 equals to 1 by 5. Now second part. If non-defective is not replaced. Now one bulb is taken from a rest. Means now there is total 19 bulbs. Means 20 minus 1 there is 19 bulbs. Now the favorable outcome becomes 19 minus 4 equals to 15. Then the probability of getting non-defective bulb is 15 by 19. 